Do Not Wish for a Pet Ostrich by Serena Sebenaler. My parents once said I could pick out a pet, but it had to be one that I'll never regret. Once Sally picked wrong when she chose a cute pup. Now she can't find a shoe that has not been chewed up. And Tom has a cat that he says is too lazy, just snoozing all day, making everyone crazy. My teacher's pet parrot at first seems so fun, but it chatters so much that she gets nothing done. Eureka! I shouted. I know what I'll get. An ostrich will be the best pet I can get. So I wished on a star shooting off in the night. I wished for an ostrich with all of my might. Oh, star, shining star, make my wishes come true. Please send me a bird like the ones in the zoo. And please will you give him a long skinny neck. And also please give him a beak that will peck. Then asleep I went, woke up to check. It's here, I cried out as it pecked at my neck. It looked at me blankly. My wish had come true. Now what will I do? What will I do? Breakfast, I pondered. Now what do you eat? Popcorn, spaghetti, hmm, marshmallows, meat? His appetite, as you've probably guessed, had me running to find more for him to digest. Apples, I cheered while collecting them all. Then I carefully stacked them because he's so tall. I sat in my chair to observe and to wait as he scarfed down the apples. All 78! I called up the vet, Dr. Wally Kazoo. The apples are stuck, doctor. What should I do? Oh no, Dr. Wally Kazoo said in shock. Go get him some butter, a big one pound block. The apples will smoothly go down his long throat. This has worked for a monkey, a pig, and a goat. I shoved all the butter right into his beak, and the apples went down as I snuck into peak. Burp! Ew! Hmm, what next? I know! An ostrich is active! We'll get some fresh air! What a beautiful day! We can go anywhere! An ostrich might like a calm stroll at the zoo, or maybe instead some light jogging will do. So I put on his leash, and he ran out the door. Then behind him I flew. Boy, this pet is a chore. Then after our run, we both sat down to rest, but he quickly became my celebrity guest. The crowd just went wild for an ostrich to touch, and they gathered for pictures. Oh, it was too much. He started to run. He was ready to leave, so I started to beg. Oh, come on, will you please? But he just wouldn't listen. Although I was pleading, he carried on running till soon he was speeding. I chased him right past a giraffe and raccoon and on past a hippo and then a baboon. I finally caught him. I captured him quick, but I was exhausted. This ostrich was slick. I know where to take you, I said with a smile. We'll go to the beach and we'll stay for a while. I think you just need a nice calm place to play. We can go for a swim and build castles all day. But instead, he just planted his head in the sand. I couldn't believe it. It's not what I'd planned. I sat and I waited and waited and then... He lifted his head and was running again. That's it. An ostrich, I thought, cannot run in a home. He must be in nature to romp and to roam. 
So I wished on a star shooting off in the night and wished at that moment with all of my might. Oh, star shining star, make my wishes come true. Please take my pet ostrich right back to the zoo. Please send him away with his long skinny neck. Please send him right back with that beak that will peck. The very next morning, I stretched with a yawn. My wish had come true. My pet ostrich was gone. As I dressed, I decided it's all for the best because now I have time for my next special guest. I'll visit my friend at the big city zoo. I'll bring him some apples, but only a few. Then I'll wish on a star shooting off in the night. I'll wish for a unicorn with all of my might.